Okay, today in this video, we're gonna press all of these products using your craft press. Hi, I'm Danielle from Pro World, and today we're gonna press some items using our craft press. So the first item that we'll be pressing is our photo panel. We have our sublimation print that's already a mirrored print, and we're going to take our photo panel, remove the protective coating, and place the glossy white side face down onto the print. Tape your design to the photo panel, and cover with your nonstick sheet. We have our craft press set at 392 degrees for about 70 seconds. You can be anywhere between one and three minutes for a photo panel depending on your size. And just lift it off of your heating tray and place it on and start. This is now going to count down and it will beep when our time is up. Okay, remove your craft press off and place it here to cool. Remove your nonstick sheet. Oh, get your glove on. And there you go. Your photo panel is perfectly printed. So let's press the next item. We're going to work with our coaster. Remove your protective sheet. And place your coaster face down onto your print. And then we'll tape the coaster to the paper with our thermal tape. Flip this over so it's coaster, paper, and then your nonstick sheet. And we're going to press this one for the 392 degrees for 70 seconds. So we're just gonna hit our setting icon twice to adjust our time and hit set again. And now we'll lift it up, place it on, and press your power button. Okay, our press is done. Let's remove it off here, put it in your tray, remove your nonstick sheet, and remove your print. And your coaster is complete. Now we'll press one of our pillows, and this one we're gonna do the glitter pillow. So we have to adjust our temperature. We should be at 385 for 70 seconds. And we're gonna follow the same thing that we've done by using the thermal tape. So place your mirrored print face down onto your pillow, position it where you'd like it, and use your transfer tape to keep it in place. Cover with your nonstick sheet, lift up your press and cover your print, and go ahead and press your power button to start. Okay, remove your press and place it on your tray, and remove your nonstick sheet and your print. And perfect. Perfectly pressed pillow. Now let's press heat transfer vinyl using our craft press. We're going to have to adjust our settings since we were printing sublimation products. Now we'll adjust it to our vinyl setting. I like to be about 20 degrees more than what the standard application setting is for a heat press. So for our easy weed, we would be at 305. So I'm gonna adjust this to 325. And I'm going to increase our time from 10 to 15 seconds to 20 seconds. I also have to set our vibration. So you're going to click the power button, click and hold the power button, and then you'll be able to adjust from motor one, I go to motor one dash three. Okay, so let's get our shirt set up. We're going to place our shirt on our kind of pillow surface and I like to place the collar just outside that surface area. Then place our vinyl even where we'd like it. 
cover with your nonstick sheets and bring your press over and place it right on top of your vinyl and press your power button. We're just gonna hold it here because I don't like it to move around. And you can apply a little bit of pressure as well. Okay, take your press, place it over here, remove your nonstick sheet and peel back your carrier sheet. And there you go, perfect. So as you can see with this craft press, you're able to press a lot of different products. We went from sublimation metal, hardboard, fabric, and we even were able to press some vinyl using it as well. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out all of our other videos and products on the Pro World website. Good luck and happy printing. All the products used in today's video are listed with links below and can be found on ProWorldInc.com. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe.